The AI space seems to be moving at lightning speed. And if you guys don't know, there's a new kid on the block called AutoGPT. Now, what is AutoGPT and how is it different from ChatGPT? So AutoGPT is one of the many new AI solutions that fall under the category of autonomous AI agents. And so what does that mean exactly? Well, in comparison to ChatGPT, where you have to constantly keep feeding it information and directions to get the right output, with AutoGPT, you can basically give it a generic goal or an objective and it will then create its own tasks. It will execute those completely on its own without any human intervention until it has reached its goal. Now, on top of all of that, it's also connected to the internet. It has memory to remember what it has already done and it uses several different AI models at the same time. So potentially, and it's important to say potentially here, we could say, hey, AutoGPT, here's a list of keywords that I'm targeting. I want you to scrape and read the content of the top 10 results. Then I want you to create a much better blog post and post them directly on my website, taking into account all the on-page SEO best practices with literally one command. Now, unfortunately, this project doesn't have a nice interface like ChatGPT that I can share with you guys just yet. This is what it looks like as of right now on GitHub. So if you are a developer, then I highly recommend that you check it out and you play around with it. But if you don't know how to code, there's actually a few websites that have been popping up over the last couple of weeks that have the same kind of fundamentals as AutoGPT and they've added a nice interface to it, kind of like ChatGPT, so that we can give it a try. So I'll leave a list with all the ones that I've found in the description, but I do wanna talk about two specifically. These two seem to be working the best, and they're Agent GPT and Cognosis. So let's take a look at both of these, and what I wanna do is I wanna use the same objective, so the same goal for both of them, and kind of compare those output. So this is what Agent GPT looks like. The UI is quite neat. Now there's really two main things that we have to do if we wanna play around with this tool. The first one is add in a name. This doesn't really matter too much. I'm just going to call it SEO GPT and then add in our goal. So the goal that I've added is based on the top three results for the keyword vegan brownie recipe, help me come up with an outline for a new blog post. So I'm going to deploy the agent and as we're going to see, it's now embarking on a new goal and now it's thinking. So what it's going to come up with now is basically the three tasks that it has to complete to basically arrive at the goal that I have described. So the first one is retrieve the top three search results for a vegan brownie recipe. The second one is analyze the contents of those top three search results and extract key information and then generate an outline. So if we scroll down, we can see that it's already found the top three. So Minimalist Baker, Nora Cooks, and Loving It Vegan. If we scroll down, we can see task two and task three are coming in. So here's task two. Analyze the contents of the top three search results. So upon analyzing them, here are the common ingredients. These are the preparation methods. And here's an introduction, the ingredients, so on and so forth. Now we're now waiting for task number three. And this is the final task. So generate an outline. And here's the response. So we have an introduction with a description, the ingredients. We then have the directions the serving suggestions, the conclusion, and that's basically it. So it seems to have added an extra task at the bottom completely on its own, but the demo has also stopped us because it's been running for too long. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. Now, let's look at what this Cognosis one looks like and the UI is gonna be very simple. So we're gonna have to add in a name and then the objective. There's a couple more settings here that you guys can check out. And this is what the output looks like. So very similar as well. So it basically just defines these three tasks. So analyze the top three search results, research and compile, and then develop an outline. So we can see it thinking and going through all of those tasks completely on its own. So all the ingredients, it's now a step number two, researching, and then step number three, develop an outline. So then we have the outline down here. So guys, if these tools this early on can already generate these outlines, they can also definitely generate full articles. And if they can generate full articles, then it can find the images, it can optimize the structure. I mean, these tools are gonna be able to do almost anything. But guys, it's also important to talk about some of these limitations. So number one, a lot of these products are in very early beta. Most of them haven't even been out for more than a couple of weeks. So they're not going to work 100% of the time. As you guys saw, I basically got stopped by the agent GPT demo saying that the agent had been running for too long. So this is definitely something that's going to keep happening over the next few weeks. Now, number two, it can be expensive. A lot of these tools will ask you to input your open AI API key. And if you're generating a lot of automated tasks and you leave this running for a while, then it's going to cost you a lot of tokens, which at the same time will cost you a lot of money. So be mindful of that. Now let's answer that main question. Is AutoGPT 
better than ChatGPT for SEO? And in my opinion, right now, probably not. For a lot of those simpler one-time tasks or question, ChatGPT still performs extremely well for generating content, for brainstorming, even for programming questions, it's working very, very well, especially with GPT-4. Now, if you know how to code and you can build off what's already out there for AutoGPT, then you could potentially build something really powerful very quickly, especially if that task is repetitive and you can chain tasks together, right? That could be really powerful. AutoGPT could tackle that quite well. But anyway, guys, I'd continue to monitor this space and see how these tools develop because it's gonna happen very quickly and this could be really big for the SEO space. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this. Leave your comments down there and I'll see you guys in the next one.